Hello everyone, and welcome back to Snowy Sled Dogs, where I have fantastic news! After oh so freaking much trial and error and testing so many different things, we finally have Iggy and Chomper as friends again! They will finally interact with each other. That was so much of a headache to get to do. Moral of the story guys, don't ever let your dogs start to dislike each other and honestly I think it's totally totally worth it to go ahead and to actually get the Control Your Pets mod because now these two are going to be playing all of the time and I'm going to be making sure that Chomper and Iggy are going to stay friends because fingers crossed we'll actually be able to get them to breed now but even though it was actually me moving them around I had to reset them I had to put them in and out of cast it was chaos who fixed it we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna say for the sake of roleplay that it was our friend Kailano so Kailano has come and he has actually brought his two beautiful dogs right over here we have Deathros right here who is absolutely stunning Deathros is a hunter who is stubborn and smart I'm not sure if Deathros is male or female we'll have to actually check from his perspective so Deathros is male and Ithril here is also male, so we have many wonderful males for Icky to choose from. So I was thinking today, we're actually, we called in the Calvary, we called in uh, Kailano because he has level five. That's what the MC Command Center randomized for him. Level five pet training. So I'm thinking he's just really great with dogs. He also has, if I can remember correctly, I try not to peek too hard at all of his stuff. But he also has the dog lover skill. So, and he's adventurous too. So with all of those things combined, I am going to say that the fact that Iggy and Chomper are getting along now is because he has actually come to help us out. We, we called him up, but we were feeling really worried about like how to make Iggy and Chomper actually start like spending time together and being, being nice to one another. So I'm actually going to have him come over and he wants to be friends with one animal and be friendly with an animal 12 times. I changed his aspiration from the tourist for Mount uh, Kumaribi aspiration to the friends of the animals because we're saying we called him and his dogs here a to have maybe a hike in a little bit so we can actually go hiking and have a good time here in the forest and also complete that hiking aspiration that we want to do um but like primarily so he could come in and see if he could calm down our dogs and get iggy and chomper to play again so let's have him come over and like come be friendly to iggy he can just straight up uh, oh let's lecture about barking because she was doing oh wait wait, wait maybe we should lecture about barking Okay, we'll lecture about barking. Let's go ahead and do that really quickly. And we'll change our aspiration to friend of the animals because if we can successfully train out two more misbehaviors, we'll be even closer on that. And I imagine that he would be like, this is what you should do in order to work with your dogs. And meanwhile, let's come over here and let's uh, go ahead and maybe praise for playing friendly together and pet and then offer friendship to chomper so that we can say that kailano is helping us out yay look these two are finally playing friendly together and we're just really gonna make sure we stay on top of that sir you're kind of in the middle of things here like you're in the way all right was this was she growling at <gasps> feel the love feel the love yes like she didn't like this random dude who just showed up all right, sir, we're kind of distracted and busy right now. Did we, like, get his name? Is that Tatsuya? That's not Tatsuya. Oh, what? Oh, cool! We can actually see spouses now. I don't remember if that's always been the case. It has been so long since I have played with someone who had, like, any kind of relationship. Sir, do we even know you? We don't. Please. Please, sir. I'm in the middle of trying to train my dogs here. Hey, and Kailano just became friends with Chomper! That is so cool! Yes, and we felt the love five times! And we managed to get like a point for that. That makes me so happy. Um, we can go ahead and pet. Oh gosh, you know what? Okay, now that we have Kailano here, now that they're getting along, let's actually encourage breeding with Chomper. And if it doesn't work, we might just try the other two dogs to say we had our backs turned. And I know, I know, I know. We have been trying to get Iggy and Chomper to breed. That has been the thing we wanted to do since like we started playing Red Lantern. But maybe here she's just not that impressed with chomper all right let's see if we can make that happen all right chomps what do you think 
We'll see if we can make that work. Meanwhile, do we have any... <gasps> hidden lifestyle progress! Ashley has discovered a lifestyle that was previously hidden. View the lifestyle menu. What? What is she learning? Is she learning something about, like, animals or dogs? I'm so excited about, like, hide it, hidden lifestyle. <gasps> no! Single and loving it in progress! Sims living a single and loving it life happily enjoy the single life and savor their independence to acquire or maintain... Ah! We have to avoid romantic media. Finds romantic media somewhat unrealistic. Increase work performance when single. Oh my gosh, energetic in progress. I mean, energetic and outdoorsy work, but single, hungry for love. Oh my gosh. Single and loving it. Jeez. Okay, maybe we should go ahead and like, if Iggy, oh, look, Iggy's calling out. Oh my gosh, look at Chomper's face. <laughs> Chomper's like, what, really? Finally, you wanna have some puppies? Oh my gosh. Look, look, if everybody's gonna be busy, like, feeling the love, then let's come over here. I know I don't really want to get much of, like, a romantic thing going because we've never even thought about that with him. But why don't we go ahead and just, like, ask if single to say thanks. Or let's embrace, let's enthusiastically embrace him to be like, finally, my dogs are getting along. Thank you so much. I was so worried about the future of my sled dog team and thus the future about like all the aspirations of what she wants to do here on Mount Komoribi. Um, and not that I'm like pushing any particular romances because I really prefer when my Sims tell me, but I really don't want to like lose that. I, I don't know. I mean, she could be single and loving it if that's what she wants to do. She wants to get promoted and dance to stereo music. Let's see, let's give him a big hug. Just to be like, oh wow. Okay, Ithil is a friendly pet. <gasps> okay, you deserve a big embrace for this because sir, I think that you have just finally helped us get to the point. You guys! It was successful! It was finally successful! Holy cow! Okay, yeah, we're super happy. Feeling the love from puppies. We're sharing joy. We've got marshmallows. She just wants to like upload videos. Iggy might actually be pregnant. She might be. We have to wait till I think tomorrow. Let's give her special smoochies to celebrate. There we go. And now, now we have a little bit of a flirty thing going on. Maybe it's because we were talking about, you know, dogs. Let's meet his dogs. Let's go ahead and offer friendship to his dogs. Look, and I, f I feel like he's cheering Igloo on. What's he doing on his own? He's praising Igloo for being, like, good. <gasps> Kailano just became good friends with Igloo. Heck, and now what does he want to do? Chat with Ashley. Let's go ahead and have him go ahead and um, pet Igloo. We're going to get to know all of the dogs. And Ashley now has become friends with his dogs. Like, this is awesome. We've just got, like, dogs all over the place. Let's enthuse about dogs with him really quickly. And then we can, uh, like, we'll enthuse about dogs, share love of dogs. We're going to straight up, like, let's 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 heartfelt compliment. Like, we're so excited about this. Let's go ahead, brighten his day, and then let's ask him to be a snow bro. And then we'll go ahead and go on a hike, I think, to celebrate. Like, all of us are going to go on a big hike. I'm so happy. The dogs are finally being nice to each other. We can finally play. Like, all of the dogs can play. Chomper and Iggy are finally getting along again. I love how both of them ignore each other sometimes in order to, like, pet the dogs and have a good time with them. Sweet! I'm so happy about this! Also, there's some guys doing some rock climbing that we might have to, like have an expedition with at some point because I want Ashley to lead expeditions for like the everyday person in the future but she needs to work on like getting her own skills settled in and speaking of which let's actually go ahead and change her over to the extreme extreme sports athlete oh wait that's him whoops wrong person wrong person I'll leave him as um let's see I'm gonna switch switch him back over you know what while he's here with us I'm going to leave him at the animal because he is a friend of the animals. He's he's just being fantastic with them. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead. We're going to ask to be Snowbro. And then let's get some food. Let's share some food and then let's go on a late night hike all together. 
Hey, Snoopers! <laughs> we might have puppies on the way, you guys. I am so excited about that. All right, I think the sentiments may have also changed. So let's go ahead and open. Nope, sentiments haven't changed, but we do have uh, good times at the festival from feeling close with someone nearby. Ashley really enjoyed playing with this sim, with a sim, a nearby sim at the Festival of Snow, and still remembers how much fun it was. Sweet. So let's actually come over and maybe we can invite to hang out Kailano. Let's roast some marshmallows, and then let's let's go on a big hike. I feel like that's definitely something we could do. And I'm going to have Iggy come over here and, like, take care of herself. You guys have to, like, light this, you know. For crying out loud. Sit down. Light this thing. Oh, also, I brought over... Uh, we spent money getting a new cooler that we just put in the world. And we also spent money getting the dog food bowl. We, we have an extra dog food bowl that Ashley is going to start carrying around to make sure the dogs can always have enough food. All right. Come on, dude. Y'all need to sit down, like roast some marshmallows or something to like warm up. Let's do some veggie dogs, maybe. Uh, roast veggie dogs, get something to eat. Hopefully that will really like help them. Okay, come on. Roast, roasty marshmallows. And y'all can chat while you're doing it. Ask for juice fizzing tips, why not? That sounds fun. Huh. Discuss fitness techniques. Oh, he didn't like that. What? Oh, cool. And our community is working on doing some gardening techniques. That's kind of cool. All right. And they're back to roasting. Is that Chomps? Chomper, you were just like constant. Oh, it's because you're hungry. Oh, and he doesn't like the fire. That's right. And wow, Iggy, you're like eating all of that food. Maybe Iggy is expecting puppies already. How freaking exciting is that? Also, it takes a lot longer to roast this veggie dog than I thought it would. <laughs> I guess they're at least having a pleasant conversation. Which is kind of nice. All right, we'll fill up the food bowl in a second, puppers. Oh, there we go. Now we've got some food. Kailano, are you hungry? Hey, hello, random person. Oh, Ashley, like, politely introduced herself with a little bow. That's so cool. All right. Who's tense? Not enough exercise? <gasps> He's ready for some exercise. He's ready to get going. All right. Well, we'll let him finish eating. And then Ashley will fill up the food bowl. Uh, Hinata, uh, Miyamoto is wondering if I want to go over to her house to hang out. Oh, hey. Let's actually go ahead and invite her for our hike. Maybe? Maybe. Let's see. Can I come over here and... Is this how you go on a hike? You're supposed to find the hiking trail. I could have sworn this was the hiking info thing. Like, there's a board that specifically... Oh, this one, this one! There it is! Okay, there's a board over here where you go ahead and you hike around with Sims. Oh, hey! Ayaka is apparently around here and so is June! And I feel kind of bad because I feel like uh, that other Sim, she's called us a couple times now, Hinata, and she's another one of our patron Sims. So you know what? We'll go ahead and invite her here and if she shows up in time, we'll all go on this big late night hike with like whatever friends happen to be in the area and Hinata, who we can totally invite along. All right, finish up, friends. Eat up. Feed the dogs. Make sure everybody's content. I'm going to go ahead and give the other dogs treats so that they have some food. Let's call Hanata over here because she has been wanting to come over. So let's invite to hang out at current lot. There we go. We're not going to do the chatting at the moment. Why are we sad? From shared sadness. From a close invent towards someone feeling bad. Oh, And flat fizz facts. I guess, I guess Kalino's not really into juice fizzing. He's like, look, I don't know very much about juice fizzing. Derfna. Kailano, sorry. There we go. So now they're fed. And Kailano's become friends with his own dogs, which is fantastic. Encouraged to mate, which would be a bit of an interesting thing to do. I guess we'll praise the dog. I don't know what we're praising it for. And then you go ahead and you train to sit while we wait for everybody to come together. 
Yeah. Yay! And now Hanata should be coming right over. And we can all go on our big hike! I'm very excited for this big hike. I have been actually very desperate for my sims to like get going on this hike for a while. And it's gonna be a night hike and I think it'll clear up as we get moving. So let's actually go hiking around with... Hanata's not here yet. I really need her to get here because we're getting kind of tired. I'm gonna practice video game skill while we wait. All right, where, where's the little odd jobs? We have, well, we don't really need an odd job right now. Play game and work on your video game skill while we wait for Hanata. Hopefully she'll be here soon. There's so many cool sims to meet. And Ashley actually is pretty um, social, I feel. Is Hanata here? Let's see. Hanata. Invite to hang out at current lot. Maybe she didn't get the message? Uh, we'll just wait for a minute more. All right, play a game. And then, yay, there's Hanata. Okay, let's do this. We're going to send all of the Sims who want to come onto this late night hike because if we can complete the hiking bit, then we can actually go home. Because as I told you guys, like Ashley was just determined not to leave here until she managed to do the hiking. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. We need athletic, extreme sports, thrill seeker. Complete a hike and we might even find a forest spirit. So let's go do, hmm, there's a lot of things. Hike scenic loop. Hike to cave statue, hike to historic shrine, hike to natural cove, jog the exercise trail, meditative walk. Let's hike to the cave today. That sounds really cool. Let's hike to the cave statue with Hanata and Kailano. And June, I think, is actually visiting the hot spring, so we won't bother him. And Ayaka, we've been hanging out a lot with. So we'll go ahead and just bring Hanata and Kailano this time. And maybe these guys will get a chance to like know each other a little bit. Let's go ahead and see. You know, Hinata, personally, I wouldn't be wearing high heels like out here. Oh, now we're sad. If you learned how to sit, yay. Also, we kind of need, we need to come over here to the hike. Oh, look who, he is so happy from pleasant conversation, quality time, shared joy. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys a sad bomb. So you know how we have level one fame? Well, now Ashley has the emotion bomb quirk. I completely forgot to share that with you guys. But that is our new problem. We have a motion bomb. Becoming very sad or very angry. When the world rotates around you, it's easy to become the emotional center of your own universe. For these celebrities, anything angering will cause them to fly off the handle and become enraged. Anything that saddens them requires the world to stop as they struggle to process their feelings. These intense outbursts don't last long. After working through an emotional meltdown, they're back to acting as if nothing was wrong at all. And that's actually the emotional quirk that she got after we had the two foster puppies be adopted out so i think she was just thinking about like oh the poor dogs the dogs need so much more than they get in life let's ask for advice while we wait i guess and ask to see outfit cold weather for your own sake hanata oh look it's yamachan way down there oh uh there we go. Asking for advice. Here comes Kailano. Come on. Let's let's see let's see your cold weather outfit, please. I'm a little concerned for you. All right, and we're all going hiking. Yeah, we look so happy about it, don't we? I'm really worried about Hinata, but maybe it'll work. Oh, and our listings on Plopsy have expired. Okay, look, the Plopsy thing was really cute. Uh, it didn't produce as much of an income as I thought it would, but you know what? At least we can go ahead and add those multicolored socks to our own wardrobe now. I think that'd be adorable. Yeah, we'll add our other socks to the wardrobe. Take that. That was a really great time, and I would totally knit 10 out of 10 with Akaya once again. Hopefully this sad thing can go away. Is he enjoying this? Yeah, at least Kailano's enjoying himself. Listen to leader. Okay. 
Are we like having a little chat about leadership? She's telling a joke. We crossed the bridge and now we're telling a like a bad joke for the psych. I mean, this is kind of cute. Just like sending them out. I wish that they would like talk to each other while they were hiking a little bit. Because I go hiking with like my husband and his family all the time when we like go out just to the local parks. And it's so much fun and you really do chat the whole way. My husband Chips and I actually go on like an hour long walk every day. It's probably one of the best things ever for our relationship. And we spend the whole time talking. Sometimes about cute dogs that we see. Sometimes about the meaning of life. But it's not this quiet. Yeah, yeah now she's feeling fine. Now she needs to have another emotional meltdown, really? Where are we going? Because she's feeling uncomfortable? Oh my gosh. Oh jeez, I told you, Anata! Let's do cheerful introduction. Can we chat while we walk? Because that would be like next level and make me pretty happy. Anata! Put on your warm clothes! I think Ashley is like learning something about next time she brings people on an expedition. She absolutely- Oh, cool! Great! Yeah, this is a great hike, you guys. One person is freezing to death. One person is crying. Kailano, thank you! He's sad! Why is he sad? Oh, because because Ashley's sad? Oh, this is why she shouldn't be in a relationship, I think is what she's thinking. Like, she has a hard enough time controlling her own emotions. Oh, what? Was that the mermaid? That was the mermaid squeaks! Oh my gosh, everybody, like, this hike has brought out the deepest secrets in us. Sentiment gained. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel the same way about me, too. Okay, I wonder if their relationship is going up while we're doing this. Yay! That counted as completing a hike! Okay, so coming over here actually completes a hiking trail, and now we just need to encounter a forest spirit, which we actually have seen at our home. So we might actually go home in order to do that. Oh, look at this! Shout and listen for Echo together! Oh, that's so cool! Let's go ahead and view together. And then let's take a picture. Apparently there's a skunk that's spraying some of the dogs. And then let's make an offer for good fortune. I think that would be a good idea. Here, we're gonna take a picture together, guys. Do pre-climbing stretch. Okay, totally. <laughs> let's take a, po a photo with Kailano at least and get that much done. Hanata, I'm really terrified that you're gonna freeze to death, please. Put on your cold weather outfit. Did she? Oh, she booked it. Oh, I'm sorry, Hinata. We'll try harder next time. Oh, but at least there we go with Kailano. And I figured out what it meant to do a hike. And look at this. From leading a fantastic hike. I don't know if that was fantastic, but I'm going to say Kailano was really kind about just what the hike was like or not. Um, so let's see. Become best friends? Actually, our best of best friends. Oh, wow! They did end up having, like, a big boost relationship. And Hanata, I think, maybe didn't enjoy herself as much. So it makes sense that they wouldn't have a big boost for relationship there. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead. High five. Let's make an offering for a good fortune. I have a bunch of dog poop in our pockets. I don't think that's going to help us for the good fortune part of things. Um, golden Yamachan Simi? Maybe, maybe. We have apparently a million and a half hot dogs. <laughs> All I have is a simi. You know what? Let's offer this beanie. Let's just go ahead and we're going to offer this Way beanie. Yeah, hey, and now we're good friends. What? So it's our very, I think it's our first good friend and a tiny bit of romantic interest. But I feel like Ashley is kind of feeling, you know, maybe I kind of jumped the gun on that. Maybe I'm not really sure about this whole like relationship thing especially if when i get sad like he gets in a sad mood we might have to rethink this okay make an offer of good fortune did anything happen next to nothing for making a very poor offering an offering of little value still means something right oh dear so that makes you kind of embarrassed shout and listen 
Okay, that's kind of cool. I like this. I think that she really wants to learn more and go on more hikes. Uh, but for now, I think we'll go ahead and we might let her go home because the forest spirits we've seen in the bamboo forest, and I'm not sure if they like show up around here. Like I, if I was a forest spirit, a little green floating forest spirit, I wouldn't show up in this cold place. So I think now that we've completed all of this, and I think that Iggy and Chomper are actually expecting pups, ah, I think it's time to go home. We did a lot. We did a lot. I'm pretty content. And now I think we're just going to be stuck on finding that Kodoma. Wonderful. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and say goodbye. Oh, maybe yes, just to be friends is definitely something maybe on her mind. Uh, let's brighten day. And then let's go ahead and express admiration for the guy who has hopefully made it possible for Iggy and Chomper to be expecting pups. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time to see if there's actually some puppies that we're going to be expecting. And if we are, I actually am kind of dubious about exactly whose puppies they would be at this point, which is kind of exciting. But alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.